The vaccine does not affect fertility. Um, there's, and again, there's no reason to suspect that it would. So if, if, if trying to decide whether or not to get the vaccine because you're considering pregnancy in the future, the CDC, the American College of OBGYN and the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine all strongly recommend that women who are considering becoming pregnant get vaccinated. Again, it goes back to that risk versus benefit. Almost no risk, certainly no risk of adverse fertility outcomes, but tremendous benefit. And you have to think about, you know, if a patient is considering or a woman is considering becoming pregnant within the next five years, if she's holding off vaccination for that and she becomes infected with COVID because she didn't get vaccinated, there could be serious long-term adverse effects that may actually affect her, her ability to become pregnant or be healthy enough to be pregnant if she gets severe COVID. We don't want to scare people. If you're pregnant and you get COVID, the vast majority of patients are going to do just fine in the long run. But compared to those that are not pregnant, there is a, an increased risk for severe illness, admission to the ICU, and death. We've had the luxury of a little bit of time at this point, and the CDC and the FDA have multiple large databases that are studying pregnant patients who are getting the vaccine. And they've looked at about 140,000 pregnant patients that have, have received the vaccine. And there have been zero safety concerns or zero adverse outcomes to those pregnant patients or to their, their fetuses or their newborns. All we're seeing is extraordinary protection against the COVID-19 virus. So there is no known increased risk for pregnancy loss, preg miscarriage, or adverse pregnancy outcome as a result of a vaccination from COVID-19. But there is certainly increased risk of each of those adverse outcomes in patients who develop COVID-19 during pregnancy. I very much understand when somebody says they don't, they don't wanna deal with the side effects when they're pregnant, but the best thing that I can say is give you reassurance that number one, it's normal, and number two, it will pass within one to three days.